Not enough people talk about this, because not a lot of people can. The internet is a relatively new thing in human history, and even newer is being a fucking VTuber. And as a human species, we were never meant to experience this kind of attention. And for VTubers who suddenly have to deal with being famous, that definitely has its consequences. Hey guys, it's been three weeks since I became a VTuber, and I've literally quintupled my subscriber count in the past few weeks. And honestly, this amount of fame has really taken a toll on me. So many people think it's all rainbows and sunshine once you reach the top. Sure, some things get easier, but other things just get harder. I would know because I have 200 subs. So let's talk about it. In case you didn't know, I have 200 subs and I can't stop mentioning it because my ego has shot through the fucking roof lately. The other day I was trying to walk down the street and I had my chin raised to the highest rotation setting because I was feeling myself, you know, and that's just how confident people walk. You probably wouldn't understand because you've never reached 200 subs. But anyway, I couldn't see the floor and at some point, I stepped on a pile of shit. And the ego, man. The ego made me not notice. And not only did I not notice, the fucking ego also made me think that for the rest of the day, everyone I walked past was just stinky, even though the smell was actually coming from me. So I finally got home and I realized that I was the one who stepped on the shit, right? And that's when I realized how terribly out of touch I was. And that's just one example of how dangerous the ego can become. It sort of tends to make a feedback loop on itself to further create more ego. This is why fame fucking sucks. Because it's so hard to believe that you're not above others when you have over 200 subscribers. But you have to remember, everyone's still human in the end. I really don't want to be so egotistical because I just want to be a good person. But it's like the validation I get makes me not give a fuck about improving myself because why would I need to when people already mindlessly love me? Some VTubers get massive egos from a following and inadvertently create a echo chamber for themselves and then become immune to listening to an imposing opinion. We all need a healthy ego, but don't let that ego disconnect you from reality and make you become an insufferable person. So yeah, that's the ego issue. And next, of course, there's the haters. Personally, I haven't gotten much hate, even with the numbers I'm pumping out. It's probably because I'm literally perfect, but I still thought I should include this section because I know how common it is for other VTubers to receive hate. Sometimes I watch a video about VTuber news and I see the Twitter comments from the haters and I just think, damn, what kind of neurotics do you need to take to feel the need to share such a dumbass opinion? Now, humans didn't evolve to take backshots from a thousand different people metaphorically, so it takes time and a resilient butthole to shape itself to fit the mold of a thousand metaphorical hate penises. But you know, to all the people struggling to deal with haters, here's what I like to think. Those people are all under 200 subs, so you don't need to value their lives. They're basically subhuman. Don't give them too much attention. Let karma do its work. Because when we finally get that 28th amendment, people under 200 YouTube subscribers will finally lose their human rights. So yeah, don't worry. Okay, next. The porn star pipeline. So the other day, I was scrolling through my usual feed of YouTubers, uh, Andrew Tate and penis size acceptance ASMR videos, you know, the typical stuff. And I was like, holy shit, now that I'm famous, I could sell an online course or like, Maybe I could sell overpriced cookies and have my broke-ass viewers buy them. And what if I took that a step further? What if I made a Fansly account and then straight up did porn? Like what happened to one famous VTuber, I think she's called Pornstar Fillion now. When I first heard about that, my timbers were completely shivered. Yeah, so I, I, I just had those thoughts, man. And when you have so much power, so much influence over others, and you just see people worshiping you left and right, of course, how can you not have these thoughts? Because it just feels like the opportunity is right in front of your face. Like if your friend whipped out his cock and dangled that juicy motherfucker right in front of you and offered you five bucky for a quick sucky wucky gawk gawk sister twister 3000. Like it's basically free money for almost zero effort. And it, it's something that doesn't inconvenience you in any way. So like, why not? It's, it's literally free protein. If you complete the extraction process 70 times in a row, you can expect to get 12 grams of protein for 60 calories. And that's a better protein to calorie ratio than actual chicken breast. And you can solve your zinc deficiency. It's, it's almost as if you should be the one paying to suck their dick. Oh, you don't like the taste? Stop trying to find fucking excuses. That is easily solved with pineapples, cranberry juice, and celery, and avoiding asparagus, caffeine, alcohol, and red meats. And I like to add a little parsley and nutmeg to mask the gamey taste. Sorry, that was a little irrelevant, but um, anyway, every VTuber you probably watched today had to go through this. Every day is a constant battle, debating between what type of content they should put out. Like, should I be boring? Should I play Minecraft? Or should I do porn? So yeah, it's tough, man.